It's been a long time since we've seen an update of the Mac Mini, but at Apple's event last week, they announced we'd be seeing a new one. The Mac Mini has always been a favorite of ours due to its user upgradeability, including user-replaceable RAM and the ability to add secondary hard drives. Will this new model live up to our expectations? Let's get it on the teardown table and find out. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today we're tearing down the brand new Mac Mini. On the surface, not much has changed from this revision of the Mini. The size remains the same at 3.6 centimeters high, 19.7 centimeters wide, and 19.7 centimeters deep. And while the weight fluctuates a little between models, our base version weighs in at 2.6 pounds. On the back, you'll find a number of ports, including an Ethernet port, an HDMI port, two Thunderbolt 2 ports, four USB 3 ports, an SDXC slot, and the usual headphone and audio in ports. Apple set up a few distractions for us when getting inside the Mini, starting with this plastic cover that we've seen before, which is easy enough to pop off, but it only revealed another closed door. This is odd and different. We were happy to see it was held in place by screws, but after closer examination, we realized they were T6 Torx security screws. These are screws we don't often come in contact with, and that left us scrambling to find the right driver. Fortunately, our repair-minded pack rat found one deep in the recesses of their toolboxes. With these screws out, we finally get our first look inside. First thing out is the fan, which was easy enough, with just a couple of screws and a cable holding it in place. This updated fan uses advanced hydraulic bearing technology, which allows the fan to operate quieter while being less sensitive to shock and vibration. Next up, the wireless card. This Mac Mini's wireless got an upgrade over the late 2012 version and now supports wireless AC. Also on the card, you'll find the Broadcom-made Bluetooth 4.0 chip. Just like previous versions of the Mini, we need the help of our Mac Mini Logic Board removal tool to get the Logic Board out. And immediately, we spot a disappointing sight. Gone is the secondary SATA connection on our base model unit, which is not conducive to a dual drive upgrade kit. Turning the Logic Board over, we see the Intel 1.4 GHz Dual Core i5 4260U processor with integrated Intel HD Graphics 5000. We also see that the 4 GB of Samsung made LP DDR3 RAM has been soldered to the Logic Board, making any upgrades impossible. What a bummer. There's only a couple of parts remaining in our Mini's case, and the next thing we took out was the power supply. This is the same 85 watt power supply that we saw in the late 2012 version, so there wasn't a ton of excitement there. Lastly, we removed the hard drive, which is encased in the same kind of enclosure as the 2012 version. We've come to the end of our teardown, which means it's time to talk repairability. At iFixit, it's our mission to teach people how to repair everything, so we give every gadget we tear down a repairability score between 1 and 10. 10 being the easiest to repair and 1 being the most difficult. The late 2014 Mac Mini scored a 6 out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, there's no glue anywhere inside that needs to be removed while disassembling the Mini. And with the proper tools, disassembly is straightforward and simple. But on the downside, T6 Torx security screws are intended to lock you out of your Mini, which makes it hard to clean the fan or replace the hard drive. The CPU is soldered to the logic board, and finally, the RAM is now also soldered to the logic board and not user upgradable. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.